India has launched a new mission that it calls a vital stepping stone in its bid to become a space superpower. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. The rocket successfully lifted off from the launch pad of the Triharikota spaceport earlier today. On board are two satellites that will be used to test new docking technology. Perfecting the difficult maneuver is vital to India's upcoming missions. It hopes to bring a sample from the moon back to Earth. And it wants to have its own space station in orbit by 2035. For more, we can speak to science reporter Sushmita Ramakrishnan. Uh, tell us a little bit more about this mission, please. Um, in simple words, we cannot seem to put heavier and heavier satellites in space any longer. So we are splitting them into smaller satellites, putting them out in space, and hoping to put them together out there in orbits. Um, the space tech, the space docking experiment is also one such mission where India has put out two different satellites already in orbit. And on January 7th, it will bring both of these satellites together. And <clears throat> the point of the mission is to test whether these two satellites can dock into each other successfully and also transfer information, electricity with each other and use this technology further in the future for other missions to attach uh, newer satellites to older satellites, to attach uh, spacecrafts to the uh, International Space Station, or uh, put two different satellites in space and ask them to act in tandem with each other in the future. Tell us a little bit more about that and, and what in particular this mission is pre in preparation for when you look ahead. Yeah, so India recently in September approved for four uh, different space missions uh, to be run in the coming future. Uh, one of them is said to be a mission to Venus. The other is the Gaganyaan, which is the human space flight mission. And uh, there's the Chandrayaan-4, and there are also planned missions to uh, uh, Mars. So on top of all of this, apart from the Venus mission, all of them will require uh, docking technology. So this particular experiment will help India to position itself in a place where it doesn't have to rely on external technology, but just use indigenous technology to uh, make docking possible, in all of especially with respect to Chandrayaan-4, where India hopes to bring back samples from the moon back to the Earth. This docking mission will be really helpful. And what is unique about India's space program when you compare it to those of, say, of the United States, of Russia, or of China? Well, India is focused on space missions at uh, on two different levels. One is the foundational level, which is uh, looking at experiments like Aditya or Chandrayaan, which is more fundamental in some sense in the curiosity for moon, curiosity for sun, but also helps us with uh, uh, solar weather forecast or what's happening on the moon. It does give us practical information too. But additionally, what India is also gearing up for is a kind of space service sector industry. Um, we have... PSLV, which is the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, uh, which has been launching out one satellite after just this month, India had already launched another satellite using mm. the uh, PSLV technology. So India is planning to be a facilitator for space management in uh, some sense, mm -hmm. where it acts as a carrier for different uh, spacecrafts and satellite into space or uh, to provide uh, uh, and deploy different technologies from Earth onto existing spacecrafts in or the International Space Station. So the whole point mm -hmm. is India will also serve as a service sector uh, within the space uh, industry. Well, thank you so much for keeping us posted there. That is Sushmita Ramakrishnan. Appreciate your time as always.